Hey you guys, it's Jody, and I'm back with a new video. And it's another kinky straight hair video, but it's like human hair this time. So I'm gonna be talking about the Best Lace Wigs kinky straight hair that I received. I'm also gonna show you how I make my U part wigs like in depth, start to finish. And I'm just gonna throw in an extra style for you guys. So essentially I have in installed the Best Lace Wigs Kinky Straight is 18, 20, and 22 inches. And I have like approximately two and a half, maybe two and two thirds bundles in my head. And I have this amount of hair left. And I think as I tried more types of hair like this, I can kind of better assess like the quality or what I like. And I would say this is more on like the light, airy side. You can see it has a, has a bit more like shine to it or softness. Now this time I didn't get a closure. I actually think for what I'm going for right now, the closure kind of takes away from that this is my hair, you can't tell type of look. So I opted to not get a closure this time. Um, but you can definitely get a closure if you don't want to leave your hair out. So I'm gonna show you guys my beginner friendly foolproof U part wig tutorial. So check that out right now and I'll be right back. Okay you guys, I'm making my glue gun wig using three bundles of hair, 18, 20, and 22. To make the wig, you'll need a spandex dome cap that you can find in your local beauty supply store. You also need a hot glue gun with glue gun sticks that you can find in Walmart or a craft store as well as a wig head. I usually get the larger ones from Hobby Lobby. I'll also need um, needle and thread and scissors. Now before you install any type of human hair in your head you want to make sure you wash it thoroughly. I'm gonna opt to wash my wig after I make it, so make sure you definitely wash the wig before it actually goes into your head. And for the wig construction, you want to measure the wefts horizontally and then apply glue directly to the weft or the tracks and then lay the hair onto the dome cap. Now I must say that the, the glue dries very quickly so it even works if you apply glue to a portion of the hair and then go back in and apply glue to the next portion of the hair because it does dry very quickly. And I do it on a flat surface like a table or maybe like a flat chair or something like that. I think it's better applying the glue directly to the hair instead of like on the cap and then putting the wefts on. I just think it's less messy. You're gonna find yourself having to refill the glue gun before the first stick is finished. So I just use my index finger and just kind of guide that glue stick to stay in until the other one runs out and it can be inserted, if that makes any sense. So I just continue to glue my tracks horizontally. I make sure to use a flat surface. Number one, it it keeps the, the glue gun from burning you, it keeps it away from your body, and it gives you a flat surface to glue the hair on so you can make less of a mess and kind of have one smooth motion and you can get it done very quickly. Like I said, this takes me about 30 minutes or less and it's really, really quick. So once I get to the top, I'm gonna have like a side part so I just kind of keep sewing the wefts in the direction that I want my parts. And now we're going to install the wig. First I want to make like a braid, like an anchor braid where I'm going to sew the wig on. And I usually add a little bit, a little bit, <laughs> a little bit of braiding hair and I use a lot because I want it thick. It acts as like a cushion off of my head. It reduces the tension. So I just make one braid going around where I can sew the wig and the rest is just freestyle. So for my leave outs, I use some heat protectant. I lightly blow dry and I also lightly flat iron my hair. So here is my completed wig. I'm just going to lay it on that part. Use my needle and thread and just kind of sew the hair onto that braid that I just made. So I'm gonna sew that hair onto the two front braids and then around the perimeter of my head. And you guys can see some of the glue shows. It doesn't really show like when I comb my hair over it, but you can definitely use some eyeliner, black eyeshadow or something like that to conceal the glue. 
so it's no big deal and I got the question a lot like why I prefer the glue gun method and it's because it's easy it's kind of easy to apply and it's sturdy and it dries quickly so that's why I use the glue gun wig this method is also customizable so I just cut off the excess like if the wig is too long I just cut that off and it's perfect it fits my head perfectly so as you can see the blowout texture is really beautiful and gorgeous I wore it for about three days until I decided let me just switch it up and give you guys an extra style even though I love the kinky straight look I just decided to do uh, wand curls in the hair and this wand is like a regular size tapered end wand it is from irresistible me and you can find the link in the description of this video so I take about kind of half an inch sections I suppose just wrap it around leave it for about maybe five seconds ten seconds and I just do that until I've wanded all of my hair guys that's how I make my quick and easy U part wigs hopefully you guys enjoyed if you did give it a thumbs up and again this is the best lace wig kinky straight I'll be sure to put the link to this hair in the description the same combination that I have as well as a coupon you guys can use if you want some money off so definitely check them out check out the prices super affordable definitely let me know your favorite style in the comments below so until next video you guys take care bye